up everybody it's your girl july from kickback couture today i'm gonna make an 808 with bit back in time it's gonna sound just like this gonna delete that all right let's get into it now it has two oscillators so the first one is a sine, so let's just play what we have so far. Fairly quiet. Now, what I would first like to do is put some distortion on it. There's no particular order you have to go in when making an 808 or any sound. You just go in whatever order you feel is comfortable. So I got the distortion on that now. Now um, here we have the amp envelope. We also have an envelope here in the oscillator section, but I'm gonna use this one. Bring the sustain down, bring the decay down, and the release all the way down for now. Now what we wanna do is make sure that we don't hear too much clicking in the beginning and end of the 808. So I might bring the attack up just a little bit. Same with the release. And we hear it's much smoother and it's not clicking too drastically. Now I wanna add in uh, oscillator two. Going to grab this triangle wave, see what it sounds like. Maybe drop the octave. And we do have a volume for both of these oscillators. And feed. I'm gonna bypass these effects. Um, if I wanted to put like chorus on it, it wouldn't necessarily sound too much like an 808. So if you do, make sure you do it in in moderation. Now we have a pitch LFO as well. And you can select what you would like it to affect. So Speed is on. The speed is indicated by the, the tool tip that you see. Don't want it to be like super off pitch, but I would like it to bend a little bit. I think that's a good amount right there. We have a mount control right here. Basically choosing which direction I would like it to bend up or down pitch wise. In the play mode, I'm gonna change it to mono. And if you wanna do some crazy stuff with the 808, you can add unison. I wouldn't, but you know, it's all up to you and experimentation. Now this 808 is basically done. I can start adding some filtering to the different oscillators. Let's uh, solo this first oscillator. And the second one. This one sounds super mean. And we have this sub oscillator too. Add a little bit more rumble. If you want, 
doesn't necessarily sound good right now. So you could try blending in a different wave with it. Blend it in. Gonna bring up the envelope attack on the second oscillator. Let's see what this sounds like by itself. Muddy. <laughs> Alright, so I'm liking the way this sounds. I'm gonna check it in my monitors. Alright, cool. I checked what it sounds like in my monitor since I have a better bass uh, frequency response there. And I decided I want to drop this down another octave. And then I've completed this 808. So, as a bonus, I would like to create another one, another back in time. And let's, uh, let's make ourselves a, a bell. Let's go ahead and make this a bell. I'm gonna go up a couple octaves and let's hear it. Right off the bat, I wanna add some reverb, delay, flanger, Phaser, chorus two, I'll take everything. <laughs> A little bit of distortion. And let's bring down the sustain here. Decay. I'll add a little bit of release in a second. All right, cool, in play mode, I'm gonna put it on ARP. And let's go ahead and add some unison, why not? Two octaves. And we can change what's going on with it. As far as pitch, slide, tie. So here, let's go ahead and go for And here, I would like to go for that. And let me think. Um, it's been a while since I uh, had music theory classes and had to remember the numbers of uh, half steps and, you know, some of the same thing. So uh, bear with me here. Uh, 12 is an octave. 24 is two octaves up. And uh, seven is a fifth, so let's go down an octave here, and then we'll go down a fifth. It doesn't have to be too long because I'm not holding these down too long. I don't want I don't want to believe. So let's hear. It. All right, cool. That sounds good. I might go ahead and change some of the pitches a little later, but let's turn this down. Change the number of steps. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. It's all culture, kickback, cook up, experiment, go back in time. Feel free to message me what you come up with. I'm interested to hear.